I don't know if you can read this uh, URL up here, uh, www.visual-chaos.org slash lab. That's where you'll find the necessary model for homework number two. And uh, <clears throat> I'm choosing this one, uh, Iteration Experiments with NetLogo Applets, and uh, it says 1D and 2D Maps. And there's Lab 1, Lab, lab 2, and uh, below is Labs 3 and 4, and you can try them all if you want. I would demonstrate them all right now if we had more time, but I'm going to limit to Lab 1 and Lab 2. So uh, here we have the famous logistic scheme, and uh, I have a dynamical system uh, that I'm going to explain bit by bit, and it has a control parameter. Okay, so this slider up here, which is label is capital R. Uh, is the control parameter. With each change of this slider, I'll change it a little bit and press setup again. Did you see that the golden arch moved? So the golden arch is going to be involved in a geometric construction, like straight engine compass kind of construction like uh, Euclid's elements that defines how points move in the domain of the one-dimensional dynamical system, which is this red diagonal line. So somehow the golden arch is going to be involved in a motion of some point, any point, on the red line into another point on the red line. And uh, here's what happens. This is called uh, vertigo. It's uh, two half steps get from we started with this point on the red line did a construction and ended up with this point on the red line so the two half steps comprise one step which is accomplished by pressing the button over here called step so there's a mnemonic for this which is called uh, vertigo uh, vertical to the graph and horizontally to the diagonal, vertical, go. <laughs> and then here's another vertical to the graph, it has to go the other way, and another horizontal to the diagonal, it goes another way. So keep on stepping, step, 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 and these uh, uh, are interpreted as successive positions in the trajectory of this initial point that I could have uh, chosen uh, maybe differently, but it doesn't matter. And uh, so if I call that point zero, then here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. So see how we keep jumping back and forth on opposite sides of this crossing point where the golden arch meets the red diagonal. And uh, each time we flop back and forth, we're getting closer and closer to that point. So this point is uh, an attractive fixed point uh, of this motion. Now, if we increase this parameter, which uh, corresponds to the height of the golden arch, and then we start again with the same uh, initial point, this green arrowhead down here in the, m in the middle of the red line, And we do a lot of these points. This, by the way, is called the cobweb diagram. It's a, a textbooks of chaos theory are just full of these things. If I clear away the cobweb and then if, do a few more steps, you see, it never settles down. So this is an example of chaotic behavior. If I decrease the height of the golden age a little bit, Oops, let me try another value a little higher. Uh, 
Okay, now clear away the cobweb, do a couple of steps, and we see that this point, uh, after uh, vertigo horrid, comes here, and after another step, it comes back to where it started. So this is an example of an attractive two-periodic orbit. So a periodic attractor containing two points is called a two-periodic orbit. Now, yes? Uh, it, it, it didn't freeze, it's just not, uh, yeah, it's going around the same trajectory over and over again because it's arrived at the periodic attractor in just a couple of steps. It, it got there and maybe if uh, we just decrease this parameter slightly, we decrease it a little more. I want you to be able to see the convergence. See, it's just after a couple of steps it settles down to that uh, periodic behavior. So it might be nice if we could just uh, visualize where this uh, attractor is. Uh, in this case with the r equals 3.2 we see the there's two two points in the attractor. It'd be nice uh, if we could see the locus of these attractors for all values of the control parameter at the same time. And that's lab two.